Okay, so uh, today I thought I'd show you how to uh, fix this issue here. See, it's trying to open, but uh, the disk drive, basically it's uh, it's stuck. And the reason for this, uh, usually, is that the, uh, the belt, which drives the DVD drive, is basically slipping. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up, take it uh, take it off, and give it a clean. Um, and yeah, and that should fix uh, fix this issue. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, come back in a sec when this is uh, unplugged and uh, ready to go. Okay, then, so uh, hi guys. Okay, but we've uh, unplugged the Xbox. Uh, I hope you can see that. All right, all I've done is taken the uh, hard drive off the top of it. Um, so yeah, what we need to do first of all is open it. To do that, we require a Torx 8 screwdriver. I do already have a video uh, showing you how to open the Xbox. I'm going to do it on this one anyway. Uh, and you can refer back to that one if you need it. I do re recommend getting an opening tool. Um, that's very helpful. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can use a very small screwdriver. And that's just to poke some clips, basically. So, yeah. Okay, first things first, get the front cover off. I hope you can see that all right. Just literally prise this off. And put it, whoops, put it to one side. That didn't sound good. Next thing is the uh, bottom sort of plate bits. I'm going to use my school, small screwdriver for this. And along the sides in here, there's actually some clips. Uh, three of them on each side. One there, one in there somewhere, and one at the back. Uh, what you want to do is you want to poke them all out, both sides of the Xbox, and then just pull the top off. Do exactly the same with the bottom. So that's one there. One there, somewhere, that just does not want to, okay there we go, and then two at the back, just like that, okay, we're now on to the sort of shell, uh, looking on the front, clip there, 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 and there, uh, we just want to take a screwdriver, just prise them off, keep a bit of pressure pu pulling the um, Xbox apart, uh, and then just go all the way up top, and it just unclips just like that. Flip it over, uh, and you'll notice on the back, whoops, you've got oops, these two, so these like small gaps, all along the back of it, and that's another set of clips basically. Uh, if you don't have an opening tool, just get this small screwdriver, poke it in there, um, and it'll open them fine. I do, so all I do is push that through, and that. There we go. And then just yank it off. Uh, don't be afraid to give it a good solid tug. It's very difficult to break these things. Um, so you shouldn't really have a problem. Okay, just trying to get that where you can see it. Next thing to do, remove all the screws. Well, not all the screws, okay. You need to remove six of them, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so... One... Uh, this is done using the Torx 8 screwdriver, by the way. I think I forgot to mention. Uh, you don't have to take all the screws out. These are the six which hold the other half of the Xbox to the metal case. Um, all the other screws are slightly different, slightly smaller. And they actually hold the motherboard to the case. So we're not interested in that. We don't need to take that off. Okay, so then just flip it right over. And peel off the top. Easy as that. Alright then, uh, so what we're interested in here is the DVD drive. Um, let's see, let's see. Yep, so let's just take that out. Uh, there is a method to do it without taking it out, but personally I do not like that method. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I am going to take it apart. Four screws, one, two, three, four. Very easy, very simple. Pop that there. 
one, two, three, four, and I can never remember which way to take this off. Keep those to the side. Maybe it's the bottom first. Nope. Top seems to come off. All right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you're taking the top off. Uh, what you want to do now is pull the DVD drive out, uh, and you do this by getting a small screwdriver. Uh, and if you look about mid-center, there should be a small gap. Uh, we can just about see a wheel. What you want to do is you basically, uh, it's really hard to see, you sort of turn the wheel and what, this is sort of a manual way of opening the drive just turn it a bit I don't know if I'm going in the right direction don't think I am so let's try it the other way I can't see what I'm doing uh. doing this, let alone trying to record doing it at the same time. There we go. I don't know if you can see, but the laser bit is actually retreating downwards, and then you can just pull it straight out like that. Uh, this is actually what you're interested in, the little drive belt there. Um, so... I would recommend using a pair of, pl uh, pair of pliers, pair of tweezers, just to take that off, just unhook it off of there, and that's really all you're interested in. Um, get a bit of kitchen towel, get a bit of a clean basically, um, get all the dust off and anything like that. Also clean the cogs. Uh, and what this actually does in real terms is stops it slipping, which is the main cause. Oops, I'm trying to get it so you can see, which is actually the main cause of uh, sorry, the most usual cause of this problem. So obviously, be careful around the uh, laser bit. You don't want to nudge, bodge that. Uh, there we go. Okay, I reckon. Might have done it. So we just want to pop this back on. Probably need to use my tweezers. And there we go. Check it turns all right. Lovely. Push it back in. And now it's just putting it all back together. <clears throat> so exactly the reverse of B4. Pop the top on there. Wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pop the screws in. Three. Oops. Can't see it. I do apologise. Number four. Tighten them all up. Four. I don't know if my head was in the way then. Probably was. Typical. Put it back in. Uh, there we go. You can see it there. Usual thing is to connect both of these first. Oops. One, and then the power. There we go. Lovely. And just drop that in where it came out from. Uh, you want to pull out this little clip on the front here, just to let it slide back into where it should be. And just make sure that lines up the little dot, which is the button presser, for the eject tray. 
Okay, so it's exactly the reverse of before. Metal case first. So it needs a bit of fiddling. There we go. Flip it over. Put in all six screws. And number six. Good, good. Let's tighten them down. Take the back back bit in with the um, do the back side first. So you want to just angle that. Push it in. Making sure it clicks all the way up. Flip it over. Just make sure all the clips are on. Uh, next is the top and bottom bits. Again, just push straight back in. Uh, always, whoops, can't see, sorry. Uh, this bit on the uh, bottom bit is always at the front like, oh god, here we go the little notch is always at the front, so that way around turn it over put the front plate on and you're ready to use it again let's go check it works ok, so as you can see, just uh, plugged it in just gonna turn it on Hopefully you will get it working. Wait for it to load. Okay, let's just press X on the keyboard. Oh, perfect, first time. Work really well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, do go to my channel um, and submit a suggestion in the suggestions box. Uh, greatly appreciated if you do. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.